Hi there, my name is Kyle Morrison. I'm an FNP student with Valdosta State University. This is my wife, Carly Morrison. Uh, do you give uh, consent to be part of this video? Uh, yes, I give consent. Okay, so what we're doing is we're covering a um, HNP of a patient coming into the clinic for the first time with a chief complaint of a runny nose. And we're also going to do an intake uh, into the clinic for um, previous medical history, social history, and family history. So let's begin. Hi Carly, my name's Kyle. I'll be your FNP student today. Uh, what brings you in today? Uh, runny nose. Okay, so chief complaint is a runny nose. Um, now we're going to cover the history of the present illness. So first off, when did this begin? Uh, about a week ago. Okay, so onset was one week ago and the location of the symptoms through one nostril, both? both. Do you have uh, drainage out of the, in the back of your throat? No, I typically just suck up both nostrils. Both nostrils, okay. And does this last all day? Yes. Okay, that's duration. Uh, characteristics of the drainage? Uh, clear and watery. Clear and watery drainage. Okay. Uh, any aggravating factors? Spending time outside. Spending time outside, okay. Any uh, relieving characteristics? Um, I haven't tried anything. Haven't tried anything. So as far as treatments are concerned, have you? there's nothing either. No. Okay, so that covers history of present illness. Now we're going to cover um, previous medical history. First, we're going to start with any childhood illnesses. Do you have any childhood illnesses you were diagnosed with or hospitalizations? No. Nothing. Okay. Um, what about immunizations? Are you current on all medic uh, immunizations? Yes, at all of them. Such as the MMR, hepatitis B series? Yes. Okay. What about the flu vaccine? No. Okay. Would you be interested in getting one today? Sure. Okay. Uh, you'll have to go to an actual clinic for that. <laughs> uh, so that covers the immunizations. Now we're going to cover any adult uh, illnesses. Any adult illnesses you've been diagnosed with or hospitalized for? No. <laughs> okay. I had a baby. Preeclampsia? I mean, that would be giving birth to a child, so I guess preeclampsia. Okay, that's just <laughs> something to note. That would be important to know. Um, and also, um, you've had a child? Yes. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so now, any operations? No. No operations? Okay. Um, now we're going to cover, let's see, operations, any um, allergies? Not that I know of. Okay, no allergies, no environmental allergies, medication allergies, food allergies? No. Okay. Uh, do you take any medications? Mm, prenatal vitamins. Prenatal vitamins, okay. No other kind of um, herbal, you know, complementary medicine? No. Okay. So that covers uh, previous medical history. Now we're going to do a review of systems. Um, oh, I'm sorry, scratch that. We're going to cover your social history. So social history, what do you do for an occupation? Um, stay at home with my son. Okay, good. Stay at home mom is what the job title is. Um, how would you describe your financial situation? It's okay. It's okay. That's <laughs> not reflective on me whatsoever. Um, all right. What's your living situation like? I live with my husband and my son and our dog. Okay. Good. In a house. Very good. All right. So, you're killing me, Smalls. Um, let's see, what about your sexual history? I've been with one person. Good, okay. Um, any travel outside the United States in the no. past 30 days? Okay. Um, excuse me. Um, let's see, and... Uh, any tobacco use? No. No? Uh, any kind of drug use? No. No. Uh, what about alcohol? No. 
Okay. So all those factors um, cover the social history aspect. Now we need to cover the family history. So for your father, what has he been diagnosed with? Mm -hmm. Hypertension and um, AFib. AFib, okay. Um, how old is he? Uh, 58. 58, still living? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about your father's father? Any diagnoses? Um, I think he had colon cancer. Colon cancer. Um, what age was he diagnosed? Do you uh, know? Like 81. 81. And when did he die? Age? 82. 82. Okay. I assume colon cancer is what he died from. Okay. Um, what about your father's mother? Um, she had low blood, low blood pressure. She was anemic and stroke. Okay. Good. Specifically a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Yeah. Okay. Um, she, she died at what age? 85. Okay. That sounds about right. I thought it was 86, but... 85. What do I know? Um, okay, what about your mother? Diagnoses? Uh, COPD. COPD, okay. Uh, still living? Yeah. Age? Uh, 56. Okay. Um, what about your mother's mother? Uh, I don't know much about her. She's obese. There we go. Uh, okay, what about your mother's father? Um, he was obese. Okay. Very good. Um, they're both dead. They're both dead. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Um, so that covers family history. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so that covers family history. Now we're going to do a review of systems. So we're going to start with the skin. Uh, any kind of bumps, lesions, uh, changes in skin coloring. No? Okay. Now we're going to start from the head and work our way down. Uh, let's see. Any kind of headaches, uh, any drainage of the eyes, nose, be, you know, kind of in the throat? No, just the drainage from the nose. Okay. Any uh, oral lesions? <laughs> I just ate by the kinkers. <laughs> okay. You, you, are, you do get those yes. from time to time? Okay. It's good to know. Uh, any drainage of the ears? Any hearing changes? No. Okay. Um, any vision problems? No. Okay. Uh, so that takes care of the head and the face. And I also want to cover some more general uh, review of systems, uh, things that, we, that would elude to things such as hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. Um, so have you had any kind of heat or cold intolerance? No. Any changes of, like, hair loss? Yeah, after I have my child. Okay. Um, let's see. Any uh, sweating? No. Heat or cold intolerance? No. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to cover the cardiac system. Have you had any kind of sensations of palpitations? Any kind of um, edema? accumulating anywhere, which is swelling? No. Okay. Uh, respiratory system, have you had any shortness of breath? No. Or dyspnea? No. No? Um, have you had any kind of uh, labored breathing, any kind of um, bluish coloring of your lips? No, I'd hope not. Oh, me too? <laughs> uh, you see any coldness in the extremities? No. Okay. Um, so that covers the, your cardiac, your respiratory system, musculoskeletal system. Have you had any kind of limited range of motion in any of your extremities or joints? My hips. Your hips? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I guess it's my sciatic nerve. Oh. Um, mm. Okay. Well, we'll have to address that probably at your next appointment um, or whenever we do musculoskeletal. Uh, let's see, so now let's also cover neurological. Have you had any kinds of headaches, tremors, no. seizures, no. Um, forgetfulness? Mm, mom brain, yeah. Mom brain, that's a real thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, okay, so we any kind of gait disturbance? What's that? 
that is um, like when you're walking, you lose your balance, or you have trouble standing up straight? No. Okay. Um, so that covers neurological. Uh, I also just want to specifically touch on hem hematological. Uh, have you had any bruising? Does it seem that you, you get bruised easily? I've always bruised easily. Okay. What about like if you cut yourself? Do you find yourself bleeding for an ex... No. No? Okay. Um, so that's hematological. We've covered a little bit of the endocrine within the general section. Uh, and that, that covers all the systems. Uh, so we've reviewed everything and then probably the next video we'll be covering a little bit more detail into the, um, instead of subjective matter, we'll cover objective information um, regarding the head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat. And um, thanks. That's about it.